Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do this build up strobe effect. So, this is something you might see in movie trailers where it slowly builds up from a slow to a fast flashing strobe into a cut. So, I have two clips, and I'm just working with one on top of the other. And on the top clip, we're going to go to the effects control panel and find the strobe light effect, which is in the stylized video effects folder. So I'm going to click and drag that onto the clip. And I have many tutorials on strobe light effect and different ways to use it. Traditionally, it'll just apply a flashing color over a certain interval of time. So just to break down all of the parameters in the effect controls panel, you have the strobe color. So you can choose to flash black or red or blue. Or under the strobe section, you can make it make the layer transparent, which is what we're going to do because we want it to make this layer transparent and show the layer underneath. You also have the amount that it blends with the original. So in this case, we want 100% strobe. But if you did have like a 50% strobe, then that would only have half strength as it flashed on top. So I'm going to keep the blend at zero. And you also have a few other options, such as if you were using a color, you can make it add the color on a blending mode. And you also have some random amounts. But the main two parameters that we're going to be focused on is the strobe duration and strobe period. So the duration of the strobe will last half a second, 0.5, every one second. That's what you, how you can think about this. And traditionally, in my other tutorials, I've just shown how to play around with these effects statically like that because this effect already animates on its own. But in this case, what we're going to do is add keyframes onto the strobe duration and strobe period. So I'm going to toggle animation by clicking that stopwatch icon. It'll add a keyframe. I just want to make sure I move those keyframes to the beginning or the start of where we want this effect to start happening. And you can choose something slow at first, like half a second to one, that's default, or even to really make it slow, we can do one to two. So strobing for one second every two. And basically we're just going to move over as far as we want. So if I did like a five second buildup or anything like that, seven second buildup, I just want to lower the strobe duration to a much quicker flash. So let's do point 0.2 to every point 0.4. So we're cutting down from one second strobes to five times faster, basically. So now if we're to play that back, we see a slow strobe slowly building up into a fast strobe, kind of like building up that tension. But we see it, that it'll just continue after that last keyframe. And we kind of want to cut the tension that we created and cut into the next clip. So one easy way to do that is to just cut off the end of that clip so that it fully reveals the bottom clip after that certain point. So you have a kind of A clip and a B clip. So in final, this is what the final result would look like. And you can change and adjust the timings and amount of clips or clip order. So if you've enjoyed this tutorial, definitely check out some of my others on the strobe and different strobe effects that you can do. Subscribe to the channel here on YouTube and check out my website for creative and visual assets and effects packs such as these. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.